Copy Alpha Final for 3 1, full stop, which duck. I'm sorry. Nothing wrong with that landing. Looks like Kevin was flying that. And Kevin was a student of mine in the Beaver. So he's got some ultralight experience. This is his first time flying a Chinook, which is a tail dragger. He's doing all right though. That was his first time landing it. Didn't even ground loop. We should totally go get his thoughts on uh, how the Chinook flies and see if he likes it. He's thinking about buying it, so I'll know if, uh, if he wants the whole YouTube to know that, but YouTube knows it now. It's still, it's still different. Anyway, so tell, tell the story. Just ignore the camera, it's not here. Okay. <laughs> tell the story. It was a case of uh, it just seemed like, well, here to tell you. you've flown a tail dragger. It is. And this is the first time you've flown on skis aside from the beaver. It is. The beaver has runners in the bottom which help it to go straight. <laughs> it's got keels, right? This doesn't really. So it can slide sideways. How is that? Unnerving. Un <laughs> but once you crack her up, once you got going in. Peter and I took three quarters of the run. Yeah. Okay. And you yeah. guys took probably three quarters, of the run. three quarters of the run. Yeah. Okay. So that's normal with the 503 on this type of snow. This type of snow is very what sticky, snow? right? Yeah. It's warm out. It's what five degrees, seven degrees out. That snow is really sticky. Um, so yeah, that's normal. So yeah. I wouldn't worry about that a whole lot. So once you got up, you took off. And again, uh, just wasn't on the riders quick enough. Right. So, I mean, she was... It's a bit short coupled, eh? Like, it, the rudder is sensitive. And that was the other thing, too, because I think that was part of the problem, too, is uh, Peter mentioned I was probably giving too much rudder. Yeah, right. I think that's what I was doing. Uh, because it did smooth out later on, and I think I had the RPM up too high, because I hadn't cut that back a lot. I brought okay. it back a bit, but it wasn't back to 55. Right. So, once we did that, it seemed to settle down. Uh-huh. But I... So, yeah, it just seemed like there was a lot to think about and do. Right. And did it make you feel better knowing Peter was behind you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, Peter, how much did you <laughs> <laughs> he I, 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 I just there. talked. Uh, we landed on the river once. Okay, yes. yes. We'll do that again. No. Why is that? There was no drag trail. No drag trail. This is just so people can hear you. Two or three canoe tracks, and it wasn't. It took a long time. Long to time to get back up. Yep. Yeah, and that is normal again with this type of weather. Yep. Um, unless you have a drag snowmobile trail, it's hard to get back up. If there was five skidoos and packed it down, it'd have been better. But right. Two and then one and. So you did get back up though. We did. I, right. I had to have my foot out. Going well, I think we were pretty much to my duck <laughs> right. but, but you got back. Up. Yes. Yeah. Back up. 
And then one, once you did that one landing and then you started flying around a little bit more, did it start to feel more comfortable? Not right away. Uh, because the again, tail we had end, the tail of the flight, you started smoothing out. He was flying like, like a crab. So right. Not, and then tipped a little bit. Uh huh. That's normal. Now, see, in the Cessna, you're used to your dash right here. Mm -hmm. And so you, your horizon is just a couple of inches above it. So if you're crooked, you can see right away because you have that dash to tell you that you're crooked. There's no dash in the Chinook. I mean, it's way down here. Yes. You're not looking down yeah. there. You're looking out, and there's nothing to tell you if you're crooked, sideways, going, whatever, right? Yeah. So as I say, it was very humbling. Uh, <laughs> right. You're flying along and thinking, have I ever done this before? Because it's like, okay, I want to go that way, and, you know. And it's going this okay, way. Okay, we'll get some rudder on it, and yes. It wouldn't hurt to walk a couple of times with him. Well, I've, I've said to Matt earlier that, yeah, I'd want to do some transition training with him. I want to be in the back seat and try to tell you what to do, because I'm watching instruments. I can't feel it. I right. don't see them. Right. Yeah, in the back seat now for you. Okay. What was it like back there? It was no, a little scary. But yeah. Coming into land, I, I knew that he'd flown before. I wasn't worried about that, but I I just told him, I said, when you go to land, don't flare. So you bring it down in and get to there and just hold it there. Right. And, and did you keep the power on for your landing? Yes, and we actually came in faster than 65. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that... I do too. I come in oh, at 70. Okay. Yeah, okay. there's no problem coming in faster. These airplanes are very draggy. They slow down very quickly. As soon as you bring the throttle back, it wants to slow down. It's not like a Cessna where if you come in too fast and bring the throttle back, you just float all the way down the runway and you never touch down. You can kind of cheat with an ultralight and come in too fast and not worry about it too much. Um, coming in too slow is of course a problem. <laughs> so it's, yeah, better, yeah. it's better to come in fast. too fast than too slow. Uh, I noticed when you came in, you were a little sideways as you were coming into land. Was that intentional? Were no, you slipping? It wasn't, uh, no, it wasn't intentional. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I, was I was giving you an to, excuse there. <laughs> I mean, we, we were talking about, okay, well look, you know, you're coming in a bit short, uh, yep. give us power, and I was trying to maintain the 65, mm -hmm. and yeah. Your touchdown was nice. Than the river. Oh, it was, yes. It was more luck than... Right, and the, this is the perfect time of year to learn how to fly a plane like this is because the snow is so forgiving. Yeah, yeah. You have a couple of inches <laughs> that will compress before you actually hit, right? right. Um, and especially with a tail dragger, if it starts to go sideways, you just go sideways. It, it won't spin, spin around, around on you like it will on, on wheels. Yeah, yeah so, um, yeah. Yeah, wheels is a whole different story. Um, on grass, they're not bad. Wet grass is a dream. It's just like skis, really. On pavement, it's it's a whole nother book. You were saying that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So overall impressions of the Chinook. As oh, a Cessna it. driver, what do you think? Oh no, I, I love it. It's great. I mean, I've, is this the first time you were in the Chinook? Oh yes. Okay. Yes. I, I didn't. I couldn't remember if you and I had flown in own Chinook or not. No. Okay. This is your first time in the Chinook then. So, I mean, uh, having flown in the Beaver, I mean, that sort of gave me a little bit of a, a feel or a transition from, as you say, from the 172 right. to uh, ultralight flying. That, that was the good training there to let you know that, no, you don't flare. You just fly all the way to the ground, <laughs> level out, and yeah. let it set. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's no flaring in, in these. You, you fly them onto the ground. I, that's what I'm flying. I don't flare. I just because you're, you're a Cessna down. pilot too. You started out yeah. your, your aviation career well, as a Cessna pilot. My first few landings, I was yeah. in, I was coming back on her. Yeah. I landed on the, on the rudder, on the, on the tail one. Yes, you landed on the tail yeah. a couple times, which, yeah. which yeah. the Chinook will handle. Yeah. Not a big deal. But yeah, you'll flare and your tail will hit first and then the nose comes down. But cool. All right. Well, I just wanted to get your thoughts and, and your feelings on <laughs> what it was like. Um, it's fast, I'll tell you that. I was coming, now I did just refit my prop finer too, so I've lost a couple miles an hour in cruise speed. But even at 6,000 RPM, you were pulling away and you're at 55. So it's a, we were it's a fast. We were 62. Oh, you're yes, at 62 yeah, at that yeah, moment? Yes. Yeah, oh. I asked him. Well, no wonder you were pulling away. I was going to come in, do a nice little flight. The well, camera's all well, going. Well, I was going to do a real yeah, formation flight there, but off you went. And I wasn't going to call and say, hey, slow down a little bit for me because your first time flying it, I'm just going to let you, you do you, and yeah. we'll do a formation flying another time. Not a big deal, but I thought it was kind of cool. So, anyway, yeah, awesome. All right, well, um, say bye. Bye. I forgot that one. Yeah, that's, that's the best when you forget it's on, because then you just talk. <laughs> Real say, say goodbye, Peter. Goodbye, Peter. Say goodbye, Kevin. Goodbye, Kevin. Say goodbye, Matthew. Goodbye, Matthew.